Okay, I'll admit it, there's not much to analyze in Comic Girls. This is fundamentally a screwball comedy about cute Malay girls, but there are a few things I wanted to call out. First, it's interesting that the girls have to hide their identities. In the West, a high schooler could totally be a pro without any trouble from their high school itself. But most Japanese high schools are so intense in their studies and so strict about student behavior that this can be a big problem. I also appreciate that this is treated as a fact of life, not as a tentpole political issue to rally around. It's a way in which they're out of step with their society and a hurdle that they have to find a way to leap over. Also note, Japanese people clearly aren't as submissive to public opinion as some people suggest. It's also remarkable that some of these girls draw arrow comics. Now, I'm sure these aren't full-scale hentai, but can you imagine the reaction to an American TV show about a high schooler who draws any kind of erotic comics? Now, granted, anime is not real life, don't know if you noticed. Um, I honestly don't think it's at all common for high schoolers in Japan to draw arrow manga professionally. But it is remarkable that that can be portrayed in pop media without any apparent concern. Now let's move on to the plot. I was honestly worried that Chaos Sensei's inability to come up with a concept that her editor liked would be a running gag that never saw any serious resolution. That's why I really appreciate the fact that she found something that worked and that we actually see it. We're not just told that her new manga is better. We can see the plasticness of her earlier work and the charm and joy in the new artwork. It legitimately feels like the right manga for Chaos Sensei and they found ways to draw that. It's really cool. I also appreciate how the final episode focused on Chaos completely alone. The show spent so much time on her support network that pulling it away actually revealed a lot about Chaos's personality. Not only does she exhibit her extreme nervousness, she pushes through it doggedly. She has the dedication to keep at her craft. And that's actually the one thing that stuck with me after watching Comic Girls. If this show has one piece of advice for artists, it's this. Perseverance. Keep working. This doesn't mean you'll succeed or find great fame, and it's worth pointing out that the season does not end with the girls getting notably more popular, but day in, day out, practice is the most important element of improving as an artist.